Thanks, Adrian. Evening, everyone, and what a beautiful evening it is in Leicestershire. Last Wednesday, the eyes of the Sporting Globe were trained on the Etihad for the all-or-nothing game between Manchester City and Arsenal. Tonight, the gaze drops to the bottom of the table because for Leicester and Everton, this is do or this is die. Win and there's hope, lose and there's only desperation and dejection. The Foxes, 18th, one place and one point above the Toffees. A win for either team takes them out of the relegation zone tonight. Leicester in their ninth season since promotion haven't been relegated from the Premier League since 2004. Everton haven't been relegated since 1951. But there's a huge chance that one of them will go. And tonight could be defining. It's the night for experienced players to stand up, show their stature, take a chance. It's a night for Leicester to harness this atmosphere, to channel the spirit of 2015 and for Everton to brave the hostility and tackle it head on. It's a night for a hero. Here's the team news, Leicester City all in blue make three changes Daniel Everson is their goalkeeper Castagna, Fass, Soyonchu and Thomas the back four Tielemans, Samare and Ndidi across the midfield it's a trio in front of the back four tonight for Dean Smith with Madison and Barnes looking to supply Jamie Vardy 15 Premier League starts no goals so far in any of them he's only scored five all season and hasn't scored a Premier League goal here since May 2022. Everton in pink shirts with grey shorts and pink socks have made two changes. Pickford is their goalkeeper. Coleman Keane, Tarkovsky and Mikolenko the back four. Gay Dekure and Garner in midfield. It will be Calvert-Lewin and McNeil lead the line. Andre Nana only fit for the bench tonight. Seamus Coleman, we're not sure he's 100% fit but he is in the team. The referee this evening is Michael Oliver, Stuart Burt and James Manwaring are the assistants. The fourth official is Simon Hooper and the VAR is Neil Swarbrick. Leicester in turn down for the first half. They'll attack the goal away to our right hand side. Everton shooting away to our left. The atmosphere is absolutely terrific. The Leicester fans with their blue and white scarves above their head belting out the anthems that they hope will help roar their team to victory tonight. It will be a crucial victory if they can post all three points this evening. What a week we've got on Talk Sport. Tomorrow, Chelsea, the latest to try to derail Arsenal's title tilt. Manchester City will get to respond live on Talk Sport on Wednesday night. And then the battle for Europe takes place on the south coast when Brighton take on Manchester United on Thursday night. Talk Sport and Talk Sport 2 have so much football, our app is bursting with content. Download it and you'll never miss a thing. We're underway. And Andy Townsend is alongside me. Is it too simplistic to say winner stays up? But it ain't far off, is it? No, it's not far off from that at all. Both teams will know absolutely the ramifications of defeat tonight. So they're both looking to be ultra positive from the get-go here. Terrific atmosphere. Wonderful noise inside this stadium. I tell you what, it's a great place to come and watch your football. It is. When it's like this, and I've just seen the, the scarves, the blue and white scarves being waved as they were very much on that title winning running, which was incredible to be here during that time. Well, the atmosphere is lively tonight and the players have got to, have got to feed off that. Fardy sent down that left channel, that favourite left channel of his by Barnes early in the game. 42 seconds gone, he went sprinting into it. The ball ran off the greasy turf and behind the way for a goal kick away to our right. It's a one-tiered bowl, a sort of brand-new stadium almost. It's not brand-new, but it feels like that. It's a perfect arena for football. The floodlights are on, but they're unnecessary at this stage. The pitch is perfectly manicured. It's blue against pink. And Everton have the ball deep inside their own half. It's clipped forward up towards the middle of the Leicester half and Dominic calvert lewin rising over on the far side and sees the ball nodded away by Wilfred Ndidi. Slightly more protection for 
Leicester City's defence tonight. They've struggled with high balls into the box and set pieces all season and the season before. And I wonder whether or not Everton will target that. Yeah, possibly. I'm sure both coaches will have just reminded the players as they come out. Start well, start fast, be aggressive with your defensive work. Be courageous in possession of the ball. Luke Thomas just being a little bit sloppy. Gives the ball away inside the Leicester half of the field. He's making his first start in the Premier League since January. The ball picked off by... James Garner, then Adrissa Garner Gay, it will be over on the right, tries to push the ball centrally, it's cut out by about fast, and then picked up by Samare. Samare runs to the far side, challenged by Garner. Garner commits a foul, according to Michael Oliver, it's going to be a free kick just short of the halfway line, but there's going to be no quarter given or asked here. No, nope. good pressure relieving run from Samare inside his own half and was striding across the halfway line before Garner just upended him with a sliding tackle, Michael Oliver giving the home team the free kick. Leicester appear to have an abundant attacking options but haven't kept a clean sheet for 170 days. Everton struggled to score goals. They haven't they've notched 19 fewer goals than the Foxes this season and started to concede more too. About fast with a header away. McNeil trying to join. And Didi takes control and takes the ball to the perimeter of the pitch on this near side of the right. Down. through the legs of Idris Agana Gay moves over halfway down the right side and floats it out wide to Barnes Barnes takes it on Samare joins the attack plays it against Ghana accusations of handball waved away immediately by Michael Oliver the referee it was in close proximity Andy Townsend yeah, yeah it was it was a clever little little ball that was clipped back it did hit an outstretched arm but immediately Michael Oliver and I like that when referees do that can let everybody know you're not interested at all but just a, a pretty basic signal to, to swipe your hands and then say get going play on and that's good referee 3,000 Everson fans have sold out their allocation in the uh, north west corner of this stand uh, north east corner of the stand over on the far side and uh, they are making a noise as are the Leicester City supporters as we go through the gears three and a half minutes gone it's nil nil yeah just seen a rerun there of that run from Sumara and it hits the outstretched hand of, of Garner who doesn't Too close to his it's body it's close to his body and it's it's not a penalty full stop it's not even close to a penalty but it does hit his hand are you worry nowadays every time the ball pops up it's your hand it, you know you 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 Heart is in your mouth for a few seconds. In the Champions League, that is a... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know. Four minutes gone. You're listening to Talk Sport. Leicester City nil, Everton nil. And the ball is with uh, goalkeeper Everson, who doesn't get great distance on his clearance over on the far side. It goes out into almost left as left back position. Everton react quick. It's take a quick throw. Down the right. Seamus Coleman looking for Iwobi. Doesn't reach Iwobi. It's cleared away by Soyonchu. And out over on the far side. And away for a throw in once again and uh, they want to get the game restarted quickly and Tarkovsky trying to belt the ball back down the touchline towards Coleman ends up kicking it further away from the Irishman than he did actually to him but the throw in will eventually take place level with the edge of the 18 yard box that Everton are attacking away to our left the Everton right Coleman tosses it in to Garner then gets it back again plays it back to Iwobi who's 10 yards short of the penalty area Keen joins the attack slides it down the right side Coleman gets to the edge of the box his shot is deflected into the air and it bubbles away and the Everton fans cheer the first corner of the game yeah nice work that Seamus Coleman actually just moved in field onto the edge of the 18 yard box received that ball steps in on his left foot and that shot is blocked but it goes out for an Everton corner set plays in matches like this take care take your time set them up properly they can be absolutely crucial they can make the difference between survival and going down especially against Leicester who's so vulnerable to the set piece delivery the ball is with Garner who takes it in towards the near post it goes it's not a great delivery it's headed away by the first man Samare who eventually fluffs his second clearance as Leicester look to break free from that defensive situation and given the ball back to Dwight McNeil sends a cross into the box it's headed on by Tielemans it's out for another corner on this near side not entirely sure he was in control of what he was doing there Tielemans no I don't think so however good early response to that initial burst from Leicester City from Everton and again, very much the DNA, Everton, get it wide, get it in the box of where Calvert-Lewin can leap and then get others to join in, Ducore and co, get in and around him. But they've got another corner here. 
And is the corner going to be whipped in by McNeil? It is towards the far post, looking for Tarkovsky. Flicks away by Soyonchu, comes out to Garner. Gay smashed it over the top of the crossbar. Didn't look confident. I've seen him actually have a couple of big chances in recent matches. He had a really good one against Tottenham and fluffed his lines at Goodison Park on a Monday night game. And he's missed a, a big opportunity there because he had time to get his shot on target. Yeah, get you. I mean, he leans back there, Idris, again, and, and skies it. Much to the relief of everybody, all the home fans in the stadium. But uh, again, get your head down, get the hit over it, hit through it. It doesn't matter, it could take a deflection along the way, but give it a chance when you just lean back and balloon it. It's, all the pressure is relieved. You're listening to Talk Sport. It's uh, Sam Motherface and Andy Townsend on game night, on a Monday night, on a massive week of football here on Talk Sport already today. Blackburn and Luton have drawn 1-1 to set up a final day thriller in the championship. Rotherham have got themselves safe by beating Middlesbrough. Arsenal women are in extra time with Wolfsburg in the Champions League semi-final second leg and here it's Leicester City nil Everton nil that Arsenal game is over on Talksport 2 Vardy released down the left hand side by Thomas and he can't quite get it under control and it bobbles through to Jordan Pickford on the edge of the penalty area away to our right hand side but you can see what they're trying to do absolutely it's just the third time already that Leicester are trying to hit Vardy early he fancies himself Vardy with Tarkovsky and Michael Keane he can run in behind them Dukura at the other end bounding forward though plays it towards the right side of Wobie's in space he shoots oh, towards the far save. corner and Everson makes a fingertip save it was a great chance for Wobie coming in at a 45 degree angle from the right edge of the penalty area he came onto the ball which was played beautifully to him by Decore great way to pass and he tried to siphon it into the top corner maybe he needs to put a bit more through it I tell you that's that's a great save you know wh well, irrespective of exactly the way Alex Iwobi approached that he's gone and walked onto it with a big side foot and he's what is he 10 yards out 10 12 yards out but it's a brilliant stop from Everson really good save by Everson as the corner comes in from the far side Garner takes it chips it to the far post and Tarkovsky sends it back towards Calvert-Lewin there's an overhead kick it's loose inside the six yard box it isn't quite clear by Leicester comes back out to the near side Garner will recycle it towards the far post it'll go over the head of Tarkovsky and this time it will go out of play and away for a goal kick away to our left but Leicester you can see those vulnerabilities that fragility yes. from those set piece deliveries into the box yeah we're watching Sean Dyche applauding his team for the way that they have just recycled the ball from those corners Leicester only half clearing and very much Everton getting that ball back down clipping it back up they're almost standing it right under the crossbar where there's eight to ten players all trying to contest and get there a vital touch on the ball and they just can't bundle it over the line Everton haven't won away since October when they beat Southampton and after this they go to Brighton and then they welcome Manchester City and the fan base believe that this is the most important match the club have faced in years and they probably aren't wrong. I mean, it's definitely the biggest since that comeback win against Palace at the end of last season. 0-0 the score, 10 minutes gone. There's a bit of a fracas over on the far side. Free kick is given in Everton's favour, just short of the halfway line, wide on the right. And a chance for Everton just to take the pressure off before uh, Leicester can fashion an attack. And then it's cleared away. It will be cleared away by Jordan Pickford into the Leicester half of the field. And he comes right out of his goal to take this. He'll hit it left-footed high into the evening sky. Such a beautiful evening, not a cloud in the sky here. It's Calvert-Lewin, heads down the loose ball, comes back to Keane. Shoots, takes a deflection, bounces out towards McNeil. And then it's cleared away by Castagna towards the halfway line. Another ball wasn't really well dealt with at all by no. Leicester City and actually they weren't really aware of where the second ball was and where that ball was going to bounce Michael Keane far too much room his shot actually was well blocked in the end but it was half a chance that it certainly was already Sam we can see that Everton serving it forward up to Calvert-Lewin prepared to go long and in behind and scrap and fight and pick up those loose balls Leicester have got to try and pick up that ball from that situation in order to feed Harvey Barnes in order to keep Madison interested and involved in the game and they will then in turn keep Vardy alive that, that, that sort of thing though the, 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 the second ball the, the defending set pieces that's meat and drink to John Terry and Dean Smith you would have, how difficult is that to change though after such a long period of well, struggling again, with them again but it's 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 about nights like this when you can be told and taught as much as you can be told and taught every hour of the day for the seven days on the spin out there when it really matters you've got to find it you've got to do it yourself you've got to concentrate focus anticipate where that ball's going to go get onto it and get your team moving forward here come uh, 
Everton once again down the right side with Seamus Coleman combining with Dekure is playing quite high up along, almost not alongside Dekure uh, uh, Cavalier but quite close there was a late challenge by Jessica Garner Gay on Samore and he doesn't look particularly comfortable it looked a little bit late that for it uh, Idrissa Garner Gay yeah it was actually it was Samore just had to wait for that ball and he just toe pokes it past Idrissa Gay who's committed to the challenge nothing sinister but it's late He's got a habit of doing that. That's another thing tonight, Sam. Discipline. Not getting silly yellows, which might result in a red late in the game, which, again, can change the dynamic of the evening completely. So, again, all these little things that are running through your mind at 100 miles an hour out there, you've got to get them right. There's a pressure cooker atmosphere here at the King Power Stadium. As Vardy goes down that left channel once again, sprints, gets on the end of the ball this time, pulls it back to the edge of the area, looking for Madison, who switched it onto his right foot, shoots low towards the corner, and down to his right diving to stop it was Jordan Pickford coming up on the outside Timothy Castagno burst into space and was yeah. available but Madison went for the shot and Pickford saved it but again it's a run from Vardy in between the two centre halves right in the gully that classic Vardy run that we've seen him do thousands of times over the years he's done that a lot already in this game and again getting in behind the ball comes out to Madison edge of the box could have gone to Castagna to his right couldn't get the ball out from under his feet and it lacked any real power the shot you're listening to Leicester against Everton live on Talk Sport with Now Sports it's nil nil and don't forget with Now Sports you can stream all the Sky Sports action like Leicester versus Everton live right now for 11.99 no contract search now sports ball is wide right with Everton coming forward Coleman flicks it into the edge of the penalty area Calvert-Lewin can't hold it up it bounces off him it's eventually cleared half-heartedly by Tielemans it goes out for a throw-in halfway inside Leicester's half of the field 13 gone the ball in the hands of Iwobi who tosses it back in field gives it to Michael Keane and they'll look to try and build again here Everton it was such a good start for Sean Dyche to his Everton career they beat Arsenal and Leeds in two of his first three games but they've won just one of the ten games since then the honeymoon period didn't last that long here is Calvert-Lewin into the box there's a collision between Bout Fast and Calvert-Lewin he's, he's given it. a penalty yes inside the box the ball was high it was sent towards the middle of the 18-yard box Bout Fast seemed to be the wrong side of Dominic Calvert-Lewin Castagna thinks it might be him who's given away the penalty he's going over to ask for some sort of justification but the ball came in fast backed into him it was Castagna who pushed him in the back actually yeah. and that's what it's been given for it's going to be a penalty to Everton either way he got caught in the sandwich of two blue jerseys that was clumsy from Castagna it was an unnecessary the ball's clipped in from Seamus Coleman wide on Everton's right Calvert-Lewin takes it on his chest almost on the edge of the 18-yard box steps into it with the ball still on his chest Castagna from that right fullback position comes across nudges him in the back it's a soft needless penalty to concede well they've scored both the penalties they've been awarded this season Everton both scored by Damari Gray but tonight's penalty is going to be taken by Dominic Calvert-Lewin not scored since the game against Crystal Palace in October can he deal with the pressure it's a third start in a row he went to spot it he picked it up again he's re-spotted it he's placed it back down on the spot Dominic Calvert-Lewin in front of the Leicester fans steps up right footed blasts it high into the net and after such a long wait for a Premier League goal Dominic Calvert-Lewin withstands the pressure at just the right time and converts from the spot to give Everton a priceless lead away at relegation rivals Leicester City. It's Leicester City nil, Everton won. Big moment. And I like the way Calvert-Lewin immediately grabbed the ball when he had that penalty, when the decision was given by Michael Oliver. It's a short run up, he steps up and he goes high, pretty much down the middle. Everson dives to his right, the ball is up above him and in the roof of the net and Everton have a lead and we spoke about the importance in these matches on these sort of occasions when a moment comes your way you've got to take it Everton have just grabbed a big lead here arguably they've started better I think they've they've just been the more progressive just seen a rerun of the of the penalty again Castagna's got his arm up and he's kind of prodded Calvert-Lewin in the middle of his back in between the shoulder blades with the ball on Calvert-Lewin's chest he's not facing the goal he's side on to the goal on the edge of the box he'd still have had a lot to do but 
penalty given and Everton are in front and Cavalu is running the channel once again down towards the right corner of the pitch across goes about fast and smuggles the ball out of play down by the corner flag it's another call I think it might be a throw in actually down by the corner flag for Leicester uh, for Everton Football Club who have taken the lead here by goal to nil Cavett Lewin with it after 16 minutes and those 3,000 Everton fans have found their voice that's for sure there's a big plume of blue smoke which is hanging under the roof of the King Power Stadium a flare let off by the Everton supporters over on the far side Coleman with the ball in his hands Everton leading by goal to nil away at the King Power tossed high in towards the penalty area away by Ndidi and back out for another throw in down by the corner flag for Everton who have started putting early pressure on the Leicester goal Leicester have given away a cheap penalty it's been converted by Dominic Calvert-Lewin and they have the lead and that uh, is significant could be significant as far as the Premier League table is concerned it would be a huge boost to their chances of staying in the Premier League what they've done well Everton in the start of the game is again nothing particularly scientific or beautiful about what's the, but what they have they're on the front foot they're aggressive and whenever they the ball go, goes out of their hands they're working really hard to get it back as they've just done again there yeah it won't be just taking it off of Samare over on the far side and he's poked it through to Calvert-Lewin who's down on the wide right position he scoots the ball goalwards and it's not too far away and Valtfass had to intervene and nudge it behind it's deflected for another corner and they're creating a panic and a, and a bit of chaos at the top of the field Everton they really are just by their work rate their endeavour just by their willingness to run and work and back each other up this will take them a point outside the relegation zone if they can sustain this they lead by goal to nil Everton they'll have 31 points from 34 games should this conclude with this scoreline ball tossed in towards the far post heading down by Keane and it's narrowly wide to the right hand up right this time not too far away Unless they've got to find their composure from somewhere, otherwise yeah. they're going to find themselves on the end of something difficult. Yep, again, in swinging corner, Dwight McNeil. It arrives right on the edge of the six yard box. And it's Michael Keane, it is, who gets a free head. And he didn't quite get enough direction or power into that header, but just kicked it away again, Andy, and they're yep. giving it away cheaply. They're losing their, their heads a little bit here, Leicester City. We were talking about confidence earlier on, weren't we? And we were saying this is what happens to Leicester. Yep. They can start brightly, but something goes against them, and all of a sudden they can fall away very quickly. Yeah, they've got to gather themselves and they've got to regroup and show a bit of spirit, guts, a bit of determination. They dare not concede again before half time they have to keep going it's not it it's not imperative that they strike back immediately they'd like to they'd like to create a chance or two but what they mustn't do is go under again Calvert Lewin just dabbing the ball back to McNeil who's coming back from an offside position so a free kick is given midway in the uh, Leicester half it's just left of centre Sean Dyche is bellowing instructions from the touchline on the edge of that blue carpet that big technical area that Dean Smith is occupying his hands are rammed into his pocket he looks pensive he looks a little bit nervous but it is worth pointing out that Leicester City's last three wins in the Premier League have come from situations where they've gone behind and they had to come from behind last week to get a point against Leeds United yep. but they've won just one of the last 12 matches that was here against Wolves they lost here to Bournemouth and Villa before that that was after the end of the Brendan Rodgers era it's been a very nervy place to be here is Castagna robbing the Kure of the ball into midfield and indeed he plays it to the edge of the area it's collected by Soyoncu who's encouraged to get up the pitch he gallops forward up towards halfway lays it off to Luke Thomas Thomas infield inside this fervent bowl of a stadium where the noise started off in ferocious terms and it's been quietened by those supporters on the far side representing Everton after Everton took the lead through Dominic Calvert-Lewin ball down the left touchline Samare's got it now he comes in field and finds indeed he just in front of the center circle he clips the ball high into the air for Castagna to chase into the right corner he gets there volleys across into the box looking for Vardy headed away by King comes down to indeed he looks to keep it alive but it's going to be McNeil who picks it up for Everton and he looks to run it clear down the touchline he goes Bout fast gets there ahead of Calvert Lewin and Leicester have got it again Tielemans puffs his chest out travels down the touchline goes beyond McNeil gets fouled as he travels beyond him and a free kick is given now in a wide right position for Leicester City yep Yuri Tielemans having got the free kick he's looking at Michael Oliver he wants a yellow card for Dwight McNeil no, it is just a foul and it gives James Madison a chance to wind something in towards the penalty spot from quite a way out I'd say he's a good 35 38 yards out 
a little bit wider than the 18 yard box as well so he's going to zip this one in towards the penalty spot and then those blue shirts have got to fight for a yard to get on the end of it 21 gone the ball whipped in by Madison towards Soyonchu travels past him and goes out towards the far edge of the area Barnes recycles it back into the box fast with a header it wasn't a great one comes to Soyonchu right for his shot he goes under Pickford and in it wasn't particularly well crafted but Leicester City won't care about that the Foxes respond immediately and show they are up for the fight. Charles Sionchu, who has been on the fringes of this team for almost a year, has been brought back in from the cold by Dean Smith, and he has responded with a goal that drags Leicester City back on level terms. Well, I'm looking at the, at the goalkeeper. I'm surprised this one ends up in the back of the net. I mean, first and foremost, Leicester kept the ball alive. They've done what Everton have been doing for the last 10 minutes. They, the ball's bobbling around. It comes back to Soyuncu. Pickford almost loses his foot in a little bit. Again, it's a, it's a, a half-hearted strike that ends up going in through the middle of the goal. Jordan Pickford, to me, should be doing better with that. I think he's got to be stopping that. He probably thinks feels some one of those defenders should have done more to make the block. I'm looking at the goalie and expecting him to make a stop there. Well, it's very unlike Everton to concede from a second ball from a set piece, but yeah. that's exactly what they have done. And they're coming down the other end now, looking to progress with uh, with Calvin Lewin into the box, headed away by Castagno, and it goes out on the far side. Big response that Sam. Huge for the home team to to get a goal out of nothing, really. Free kick from a distance out. They Garner. recycle it and they've scored. Into the box, Iwobi being pursued by Ndidi. Played out towards the wide right position. Garner again with a cross in towards the near post. So the deflection is out for another set piece. Dean Smith said last week that he knows that games against teams around them are going to be really important if they're to survive this season. There was a, a little bit more grit and graft against Wolves. They showed character and were the better team for large parts against Leeds. But they do have sometimes lapses in concentration. Tonight's likely to be pivotal. To get back in it so quickly is absolutely vital for this Leicester team. We're level pegging on Talksport in this big relegation six-pointer. Corner comes in for Everton, into the middle of the goal. Everson comes and claims this time, right above the head of Michael Keane, and just takes the pressure off his defence, Andy Townsend. Yes, good hands from Everson there. Because Everton have looked particularly dangerous. They've made first contact on a couple of those free kicks and corners that they've had so far, so... It's a bit more encouraging for Dean Smith and everybody that the goalkeeper comes and claims that one and hangs on to a nice a mistake from Soren to he just recovers again. But there's an edginess at both ends of the field, to be honest, with the way that this game has started. Neither team uh, are, are defending with any real authority. Ball was played forward up towards Vardy once again. This time Tarkovsky dealt with it, but he wasn't completely confident about doing so. Cleared away, but only as far as Samari. Into Tielemans, back to Samari. Onto Vardy, who's just dropped from the number nine position. He plays it into Samari via Madison, and there's a little tangle between Dwight McNeil and Michael Keane. But eventually, the ball is smuggled clear by Everton out towards the left-hand side, and Mikalenko gets it upfield towards Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Chests it down on halfway. Brings Idrissa Garner Gay into play. Into midfield. A bit of creativity from Garner might be required. I'll tell you what, they've been calling for him to be in the team, the Everton fans. Out to Coleman it goes. His cross is headed away by Soyuncu. He'll be playing in La Liga next season. He's agreed a deal to sign for Atletico Madrid next campaign. And uh, eventually the attack peters out and goes behind and away. Is that is that done? That's a done deal? I think, he, I think it's done and dusted. Yeah, he's going to... Uh, He's going to play in the league. He's out of contract. He obviously have not used him for most of the season. Oh. It's only since Dean Smith came in, picked up the bat phone and said, we need some help here. But they've uh, put him back into the team. I and mean, then let's be clear, he, he was dropped because he wasn't playing very well. Yep. I think he lost a little bit of confidence when Turkey had some problems and then he had one or two incidents in the Leicester City team and then just hasn't been able to get back in, which is a surprise really because they've been dreadful defensively. Everson gets the ball back off him and clears right through the middle of the pitch. Up towards Vardy, it's headed away by Keane. Offside flag is up, it's going to be a free kick away to our right-hand side. It's, Current, it's definitely one of those nights, Sam, as well. When you go back to the goalkeeper, right, you want the goalkeeper to have a nice clear picture in his mind exactly what he's going to do. They don't want to be giving anything silly away by rolling it into a player with a man up 
up his backside, etc., etc. Wow, Wolfsburg have scored in the game against Arsenal in extra time. They lead by three goals to two in the Women's Champions League over on Chalk Sport 2. Bremer with a 119th minute goal, agonising for 60,000 at the Emirates tonight. It continues over on Talk Sport 2. If you want to get Talk Sport 2, DAB Digital Radio, ask your smart, smart speaker to play Talk Sport 2 or get our wonderful app and you can download it and flick between the two stations. So on to with a header away as Everton come forward again. 1-1 one, one the score. You're listening to Talk Sport. The ball is played out towards the right-hand side. It's picked up by McNeil who skates towards the edge of the penalty area in the right-wing position. He's blocked by Luke Thomas and cleared away. But only as far as Garner. Again, Everton putting the pressure on. Out wide to Coleman, the captain. Comes in field, plays it to Iwobi. It's very tight over on the far side. The delivery into the box is high, but it's not going to catch out either, so it's going to land on the roof of the net. I better tell you about the current odds, which are available from Lab Books. Leicester 1, Everton 1. Right now, you can get Leicester to win the game 11 to 8. The draw 19 to 10. Everton 21 to 10. It's all thanks to Lab Books. Play at labbrooks.com, 18 plus, be gambler, where all. Well, what we've seen so far, it's been a, it's been a bright, energetic opening. But as I mentioned, both teams, I think, look vulnerable if whoever's got possession of the ball can put something worthwhile in the box and get numbers in there there looks like there's going to be opportunities that sort of night but both teams obviously a good start for Everton getting in front and Everton res- uh, beg your pardon and Leicester responding Crikey. well the force has gone over the top of the defence and Castagna and Everson wouldn't really clear about who was going to take charge of the situation it was outside the box Everson didn't want to go too near it Castagna went to dip down and try and play the ball but it sort of bobbled off his chest and then there was a moment where Decore was shutting his, them down his feet were going like Michael Flatley there the goalkeeper <laughs> now it's no, no, it's no time for the river dance let me tell you <laughs> it might be if Leicester City can get a win here tonight 28 minutes gone 1-1 one, the score <laughs> Here's McNeil down the left-hand side, looking for Mikelenko. Gets to the byline, produces a cross. It's away by Indidi. D- a dab down by Garner. Comes to McNeil, turns and thrashes it towards the near post. Wasn't too far away that on the turn from McNeil. A quick snapshot from about a 30-degree angle, wide on the left-hand side. Wasn't easy, but he almost tested Everson. Certainly did. Yeah. Again, they're getting good numbers, Everton. When they get the ball wide, it's encouraging for them that they're getting plenty of people in the box. Decore is always in and around. Calvert-Lewin and there Dwight McNeil also in there the ball drops to him on his left foot he has to turn without really able to work out exactly where the goalposts are hits it well enough but it's always going high and wide Dean Smith said this week that the players have all bought into the idea of a scrap he's getting the buy-in from everyone even those whose contracts are running out will be elsewhere at the end of the season he needs them to dig in he needs them to scrap now because the way the table looks at this moment in time is not particularly great for any of these two teams Southampton 24 points from 34 Everton will have 29-34 they'll be second bottom if they only draw this game 30 points from 34 in 18th position will be Nottingham Forest then comes Leeds then come Leicester but Leicester, Leeds and Nottingham Forest will all have 30 points here's Barnes up to Madison out towards the right can out by McNeil infield it goes to Idrissa Garnagay chested down by Keane and then on to Coleman the good news for Leicester is their goal difference is absolutely superior to both Leeds and to Nottingham Forest who's absolutely dreadful uh, down the right side it goes looking for um, Calvert-Lewin and then it's picked up by Everson before it can reach him and then Didi with a heavy touch almost ends up conspiring to give the ball away to Calvert-Lewin on the edge of the area yeah, crikey, if you're a Leicester fan, your nerves are going to be shot by the end of the game. Just a, again, just a tad unnecessary, but look, again, it's that sort of night, isn't it? It's definitely, again, I spoke about being courageous and being brave to play and do what you're instructed to do, and but also to eliminate unnecessary risk at crucial times. And Sean Dyche was talking about his team and, and, and the fact that they hadn't kicked on from that good start that they made under him. He was saying, you know, it's down to nerves, it's down to tension, it's down to focus on in the build-up to games, on, on us, it's injuries, it's suspension. But they have almost a fully fit squad now. This is where they've got to shine. They have looked less nervous than, than uh, Leicester in the opening yep. 30 minutes of the game. Yep, I think they have, yeah. I think that's because they've got a quite a, a basic direct way of playing. They're just serving it forward and getting people around that second ball, trying to pick it up, get it wide, get it in the box, get your corners, your free kicks, all of those sort of typical Sean Dyche way of playing. And there's nothing wrong with that. On a night like tonight, with so much at stake, 
it might be the right formula. It does feel as if at, at some stage someone in a Leicester blue shirt is going to make a short back pass which is going to cause them serious grief. Keane shovels the ball out to the far side, goes straight out of play and away for a Leicester throw five or six yards inside opposition territory. It's 1-1, one, one, you're listening to Talk Sport. 31 on the clock. This is Leicester against Everton in the Premier League. We've got more Premier League football for you tomorrow night and Wednesday night and Thursday night and Saturday and Sunday. The ball is on the left-hand side. Madison moving towards the edge of the penalty area. He tries to twist and turn and get a right but his shot towards the far stick but it's too close to Pickford. It's patted down and cleared away. Just thinking I'd like to see a little bit more of James Madison half an hour gone. And just there he picks it up on the left side, he goes wandering and I think do that, encourage Madison to do that, to, to go wandering, play him behind Vardy, go off of Tiedemann's, wander over the far side like he just did there and he got his shot away, unfortunately from a tight angle Pickford can easily deal with that. You can see Sean Dice just starting to worry about that because he's just come out, tried to get his troops to calm down a little bit and Madison ran riot in the game at Goodison Park earlier in this season which Leicester won by two goals to nil. Harvey Barnes is on the score sheet that day. He's their top scorer so far this season, Harvey Barnes. Haven't seen too much of it at the moment, Harvey Barnes. He's the one no. that's holding the natural width. He's just picked the ball up now, about 15, 20 yards inside Everton's half. And he's touching the touchline, then comes in field, gives it to Ndidi. It's a short ball into Soyonchu, but he just wanders past the Kure and the pressure that he was applying. Madison with a reverse ball down the right side, almost reached Castagna. That was a good idea from Madison, but it didn't quite come off because of the alertness of Dwight McNeil. Pinches the ball and runs to halfway. Iwobi takes over through the centre circle, gives it away cheaply. Madison immediately releases Vardy through the middle. He's in behind Keane. He's faced up by the goalkeeper. He rounds him and scores! Jamie Vardy's, Jamie Vardy's first Premier League goal at home for a year could be absolutely humongous. Is he coming to Leicester's rescue once again? Maybe, just maybe, they pinched it on the halfway line after a sloppy ball from Iwobi. Madison straight down the middle. Vardy was away, racing up towards the edge of the penalty area. The goalkeeper came out, he rounded him and smashed it in. And Jamie Vardy puts Leicester 2-1 in front. You never lose it, let me tell you. That is what Jamie Vardy has always been about. He anticipated after a really poor giveaway from Alex Iwobi, a square ball right across the halfway line was easily intercepted by Madison. As soon as Madison had a touch, those two big centre-halves, Tarkovsky and Michael Keane, are on their heels. Vardy is up on his toes and he is running between them, receiving that through ball. And once he draws Pickford, he ain't missing it. He's never missing that. Goes round the goalie and tucks that in beautifully. Classic Jamie Vardy. Oh, it was brilliant. But it came about from a mistake. And this time it was Iwobi who made that mistake. Giving it away short on the halfway line. And Everton have gone from 1-0 down. 1-0 up to 2-1 down in double quick time. Leicester City 2, Everton 1. And it's the Leicester City fans who are bouncing now at the King Power Stadium. It won't be down the right, looking for Calvert-Lewin. His cross cannons off Soyonchu, and it goes out and away for a corner kick. It's finished at the Emirates Stadium. Arsenal women 2, Wolfsburg 3. Bremers go after 190 minutes, has eliminated Arsenal. It'll be Wolfsburg against Barcelona in the final. And it's heartbreak for those fans that have turned up to the Emirates Stadium. 60,000 inside there tonight. Corner to Everton, far side. Deep towards the far post. Cavett Lewin with a header. It's away by Samari, out towards the far side. Vardy tries to get it clear. Manages to do so. It's out for a throw over on the far touchline. Wow, well, it's been a frantic response, but it's been a crucial one from the home team. Going one down. Yep, they looked a little lost and a little edgy and nervy. Got back in it. And then that's a brilliant goal. That's such a typical. That was the sort of goal Vardy was scoring on the way to winning the Premier League. Yeah, it was a traditional Jamie Vardy wasn't finish, it? wasn't it? Great. Really Racing away play. at speed. Rounding the goalkeeper, putting it into the empty net. It's 2-1 to Leicester City. 36 minutes on the clock. I mean, look, let's be honest. 
When they went 1-0 down, there was real nervousness inside this stadium, and there's still a hell of a long way to go. We've only played 35, 36 minutes. There's, look, there's a lot more to happen here this evening, I think. There really is. And from what I've seen already, both teams, again, looking edgy. When Everton are up on the halfway line, if that ball's turned over, they're vulnerable. Those two centre-halves aren't going to get anywhere near Vardy. They're really not. So that's the danger for them. They were a bit slow in reacting there, the two centre-halves. And Vardy pounced on that. He really did so quickly. And the finish was emphatic. Beautifully controlled and composed finish. Knew exactly what he was doing. So Jamie Vardy, because he went round the goalkeeper and had an open goal to aim at, his XG for that shot was 0.95. Right, there you go. Expected to score. Yeah. As I'm looking at Adrian and he's looking to the skies again here. <laughs> he understands it now, I think. <laughs> and that was a debate we had just before 7 o'clock on TalkSport. And if you want to go back and listen to it, you can on the TalkSport app. It's, uh, it's available to you. You can listen to loads of the programmes from this morning, like White and Jordan, who are in particularly good form uh, today, talking about Jurgen Klopp on the antics yesterday. And, and tomorrow morning, you can wake up to Laura and Ali. They'll be on the award-nominated TalkSport Breakfast Show. They've got Alan Stubbs, Andy Townsend, Kevin Campbell, David O'Leary, Stephen Schumacher, all on the show tomorrow. I hope I'm not on too early. Well, I'm on at seven. What time are you on? Oh, after that. Mm. Free kick, far side for uh, Everton, it's waxing towards the near post, it won't be tries to help it goalwards, couldn't get it under control, and it goes behind and away for a goal kick, away to our left hand side, and it remains Leicester City 2, Everton 1. I don't think Everton will be too shy of a response though, they'll still think there's a route yeah. to success for them here. Oh, of course they will, of course they will. But it's amazing how quickly momentum changes, how it changes hands in football matches, it really does, Everton had it, and then Leicester got back in it, and now all of a sudden the home team, all the noise you can hear, it's been generated by all the home fans in the King Power Stadium. The blue and white scarves are whipped around above their heads and it's that party carnival atmosphere. They feel their team are on top again. So the table will look like this. Southampton bottom, 19th Everton, 28 points from 34. Then come Nottingham Forest, 30 points from 18. Leeds after that, 30 points from 17. Leicester, 32 points from 16. There'll be two points above the dotted line. Should it remain like this? But well, we've still got a very long way to go. And this table has changed three times already. We've only been playing 38 minutes at the King Power Stadium. We've had three goals. Calvert-Lewin put Everton in front after 16 minutes from the penalty spot after a mistake. A clumsy challenge by Castagna. Soyonchu scored the equaliser after 22 minutes Vardy then got the one that's put them in front after 34 and as a result of that Leicester are in front here is Mikolenko though towards the edge of the area away by Soyonchu comes back out to James Garner and across towards Mikolenko back in field it goes collected by Garner and then it's on to Mikolenko who sends it down the left hand side Dekure trying to get there across comes out fast and smuggles the ball out on this near touchline. You're listening to TalkSport, Leicester City 2, Everton 1 on TalkSport with Car Finance 24-7. Search Car Finance 24-7 today. Here is McNeil, low ball into the penalty area, steered away by Ndidi, picked up by Vardy who spins away from De Cure. There wasn't much in that, that was what I'd describe as a professionally won foul by yeah. Jamie Vardy. Clever. Just managed to get himself there. And just get his body in just to draw a bit of contact but just seeing a rerun of the goal on our monitors in front of us where Alex Iwobi running across the halfway line square balls if they get cut out you are in trouble they are so dangerous when you give away what looks like a even though it's 50 yards from your goal because then Madison picks it up and all of a sudden Jamie Vardy's eyes are light up he's wide open just roll me in behind these two centre arms and let me do the rest they know how pivotal this result could be here at the King Power Stadium tonight. Kalechi Ahianacho just getting to his feet, fist pumping. He knows it could be the difference between being a, a Premier League player next season and a Championship player next season. And of course, those players, James Justin down there as well, who was celebrating, they can't influence proceedings now because of injuries, have curtailed their season. It's down to their mates on the pitch to dig them out of this hole, this yep. hole that's befallen them after a really poor season by Leicester's standards. And now it's Everton's turn to try and dig themselves out of danger. And 28 points at this stage of the season, knowing that they'll need at least 35, probably, to stay in the division. 
I don't know. If they lose tonight, I think they're in massive, massive trouble. Massive trouble. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course they are. Without doubt. Running out of game, Sam, and you just... And then this expectancy. I'd said be before kick-off tonight, if Everton need to beat Bournemouth on the last day at Goodison, they take that. It might not be enough now. They might need to do that and, and then some. Here's Castagna smashing it clear. A little touch by Madison. Doesn't get quite reach Tielemans it's picked off by Idrissa Garner Gay and Everton turn the ball over and they come forward away to our left it's a Iwobi into the box looking for Calvert-Lewin it's away by Soyonchu out to the far side collected by Iwobi again moves towards the edge of the penalty here cuts it back on his left foot a low ball into Calvert-Lewin a flick round the corner for Coleman who steers it back oh. it's McNeil it's off the goalkeeper brilliant save to Corey over the top what a chance for Everton. Great they should good. be level. Everson stopped them from doing so. And then Decore from the rebound sent it miles over the top. Terrific football. Started with Alex Iwobi. Eventually rolls it into Calvert-Lewin on the edge of the box. Brilliant ball from Calvert-Lewin to Seamus Coburn, who might have been offside had Dwight McNeil's shot have gone in the back of the net. Stunning one-handed save from Everson. The ball eventually comes back out to Decore, whose shot is wild and miles over the top. But brilliant piece of work from the Leicester goalkeeper after a really good bit of football the best and most incisive little passage of play that Everton have stitched together so here's a question on the evidence of what you've seen tonight two big saves from Everton why on earth did Brendan Rodgers take so long to put uh, uh, to keep to, to put, put him in instead well, of Danny Ward he put him in then put Ward back in again didn't he and it was only actually after Brendan Rodgers had gone that Everton had started playing regularly yeah good save that you know really good stop that wasn't easy that come at him very quickly that strike from Dwight McNeil uh, earlier on tonight, Wolfsburg knocked out Arsenal in the Women's Champions League over on TalkSport 2. Rotherham got themselves s safe in the Championship with a victory over Middlesbrough. So it's a play for in the playoff situation. Here's McNeil down the left-hand side. Low ball into the penalty. Oh, he's comes through to Calvert-Lewin. He's missed it from four yards out. Less than that. Oh, that is a huge miss. And at the other end, Jamie Vardy's on the escape again. He's in behind Keane. He cuts it on his right foot. Goes back on his left. Chips oh! it on his left. Crossbar and it goes behind. Incredible. He's missed another big chance too. Calvin Lewin at one end, Vardy at the other. Two huge, huge chances for two established strikers. Both of them go a begging. And it remains Leicester City 2, Everton 1. What a passage of play. Oh, stunning. Breathtaking stuff we've just seen, really. Brilliant run from Dwight McNeil, who rolls one across the six yard box. He's three yards out, two and a half, three yards out, middle of the goal. And he heals it back to the way where it's come from. And then within seconds, within a flash, Vardy is onto another through ball. And this time he sets the defender up, puts him down. It's Michael Keane, it is. He chops him one way, chops him the other. The defender's on the floor. Out comes Jordan Pickford. He tries to just clip it over him. And it rattles the crossbar. Stunning. Stunning 30 seconds of football. Barney hits the bar seconds after Dominic Calvert-Lewin fluffs his lines at the other end. There's a problem here for Seamus Coleman over on the far side. A player who has been injured recently. He's just gone in on a oh. challenge with uh, Samare. It doesn't look great. And he's down being consoled by Dominic Calvert-Lewin. They needed him out playing football regularly. Seamus Coleman bearing in mind that he's had such an issue at right back Sean Dyche he got him fit enough to be able to start the game tonight but this is not a very nice situation it looks as if he's been severely hurt and they want to stretch it yeah. they're beckoning the stretcher over oh yeah I'm, that doesn't look good I've just seen that again there it's not looking good for Seamus I sincerely hope that is better than that looks it looks like a serious knee injury that Sumare is a big powerful lad he's just chasing after a ball and Seamus has kind of tried to step across and protect it and Sumare's just clattered into the side of his knee no intent to, to to injure or to hurt him he's just trying to close him down but it's left Seamus Coleman in a heap on the floor I'm afraid and it does not look good and this is going to be a sad situation because he's going to have to be stretched off here three minutes are going to be added at the end of the first 45 I think they're going to have to turn to Nathan Patterson to come on and play that role at right back. They've been using Ben Godfrey there. It hasn't been working properly. No. So they wanted to get Coleman back in the team. They've done that tonight. But Patterson is going to have to come on just before we break for half-time because of what looks like a very serious injury to Seamus Coleman. Oh, dear. And yeah. you do hope that it is nothing more than... Uh, uh, 
a, a really powerful impact injury yep. but the way we've seen it on the monitors and we've seen the reaction of him and the players around him yeah. it looks a lot more severe than that it did it did and again for such a he's been such a an outstanding pro Seamus I'm really really had my fingers crossed for him that it's not a serious one yeah um, we've seen the replay of the two incidents that led up to that which was Dominic Calvert-Lewin missing from three yards out I mean incredible I miss I haven't got the XG for it but oh. I'm, I'm going to suggest that <laughs> I'm going to suggest that that was uh, uh, very very high indeed maybe uh, a 0.8 up and after scoring from the penalty spot he really should have doubled his goal tally for the evening but then just moments after missing that chance Jamie Vardy went up the other end and scored what can only be uh, uh, spurned what can only be described as a terrific chance because yeah. again he's rounded the goalkeeper and he's looked to clip the ball over the top and it's hit the top of the crossbar and gone out and away for a goal kick and he just scored himself prior to that with a traditional Jamie Vardy goal but it's only 2-1 to Leicester City as we go in to the break we've got a huge delay here because of the injury to uh, Seamus Coleman they're taking care and attention with him quite rightly so because it is a severe injury to the Everton captain I'll tell you that Arsenal against Chelsea is live tomorrow night on Talk Sport, the former Arsenal winger Perry Groves and former Chelsea defender Skip Scott Minto will be alongside me in the commentary box Wednesday night, Manchester City against West Ham. Adrian and I will be at the Etihad Stadium for that with Trevor Sinclair. Whilst on Talk Sport 2, Joe Shannon and Dean Ashton will bring you Liverpool against Fulham. That's from 8 o'clock on Wednesday night. Thursday night, Brighton against Manchester United. And that's going to be a huge game in the race for Europe. And then over the weekend, game day returns on Saturday uh, with you going round the grounds. And there's a live commentary between Chris Palace and Tottenham Hotspur at 3 o'clock on Saturday afternoon all the games pushed back a little bit this week because I don't yeah. know what's that something's happening I can't remember can you remember what it, ah yeah Coronation isn't it something like that yes ah that's why everything's been indeed moved. indeed it and is we've got West Ham against Manchester United live on Sunday night which is an odd kick off time but it has been moved because of that coronation event 7 o'clock Sunday night West Ham against Manchester United a uh, bit of a conversation going on, on the bench Steve Stone talking to Sean Dyche this is a long delay here because of the injury to Seamus Coleman who's now strapped to the stretcher over on the far side clearly in some discomfort they're going to have to make the change and bring Patterson on and eventually he is going to be lifted from the floor and taken off the pitch over on the far side um, have they got him back to his feet now no they've got him on the stretcher yeah he's on and he's stretcher. being taken out on this near touch line from the far side it's the stretcher bearers and the paramedics and actually James Madison's just gone over just to wish him all the best and uh, he's uh, applauding the Everton fans over on the far side Shaman Coleman and he's asking his teammates come on I yeah. want you to get us out of this hole he's actually still very much his head's still in the game even though he knows he can't play any further part Nathan Patterson comes on the first substitution of the game it's big for him because he's been out for a long time after an, an injury that he sustained back in January he's hardly played yet he's very good going forward not so great in defensive situations but he needs to get into that very quickly Andy yes he does he's got to focus and get amongst it absolutely right as soon as he possibly can chance to have winding this ball in from Pickford big 50 yarder right up the field but Leicester clear their lines Mikalenko gets it back towards the just at Garner Gay all the way to Pickford Pickford back to Garner Gay and we played 49 and a half minutes in this first half because of that delay we're going to have another further three minutes I think from now on so we'll play at least 53 minutes off oh, given away so cheaply this time by Tarkovsky and Madison moves towards the edge of the area it's got Vardy alongside him Barnes making a dart it's uh, Tielemans on the right side who picks it up a low ball into the near post goes through the six yard box there was an offside flag up anyway wouldn't have counted but again so casual from Everton giving the ball away in a dangerous situation and turning it over yeah when they try and play Everton in their own territory they look like they're going to give the ball away they honestly I, I, I would if I was Sean I would say listen guys let's eliminate a lot of that stuff tonight we're chasing a game we're 2-1 down our best way forward at what served us well in the opening 20 minutes of this game is going up to Calvert-Lewin and picking it up from there 
Yeah, rudimentary football. Yeah. Just whack it upfield. Effective. Use, use him as a, a platform from which to build on and go from there because you're playing your football. If you do end up playing some football, so far away from your goal, you're not, if you get caught, it's not as terminal as it is if you give it away on the edge of the penalty area. Absolutely, Sam. And if they, can, if they concede another, but yes, they're 2-1 down, then all of a sudden it's mountains to climb and I don't fancy them at all. But at 2-1, still very much in the thick of this. Yeah. Well, for many Everton fans, the excitement about watching their team contest a big game like this has been replaced with a fear and a sense of foreboding. They didn't think it was going to be a bad night when Calvert-Lewin scored the opener after 16 minutes, but it's turned very quickly in Leicester's favour. Luke Thomas kicks it clear over on the far side. Still a full half of football to come, though, that anything can happen in this basement battle between Leicester City and Everton. The ball played out towards the near side of McNeil. McNeil picks it up and travels infield now. And it goes back to Michael Keane, who plays it out to the wide right position. Iwobi tries to take on the defender Thomas. It breaks. Calvert Lewin trying to turn in towards the middle of the park. Across comes Madison, pinches it, turns and sets them away. Over on the far side. It's collected by Madison. He's played in Barnes. Tielemans is free on the far side. Barnes takes too many touches. The ball goes into the box. Handball penalty. Definite handball. There's no doubt about it. The arm was well away from the body. Michael Keane is protesting that it hit the inside of his body first of all, and then onto his arm. If it hits his hip and then goes up onto his arm, he's got a case. Let's have a look. No, no. It hits, goes straight on his arm. It's travelled 10 yards as well, across from Harvey Barnes. Michael Keane's arm is out, and it hits him on the bicep, on the inside of the bicep, with his right arm. And I don't think there's any doubt at all that Leicester are going to have a chance here to extend their lead once more. It's a big moment, this. It's a big moment for Leicester City, who have allowed Yuri Tielemans to walk away with the ball in his arms. It's a huge moment for Everton, too. Jordan Pickford has got a reputation of saving penalties. Leicester City have scored only one of the three penalties that, that they've taken this season. And as a result of that, Tielemans, who missed versus West Ham and against Warsaw, has handed the ball over to James Madison. Pickford's taking his time, but he's having a drink behind the goal. He's doing everything he can to delay this. Get, picks his towel up, wipes his face, just uh, punches his fists together with those gloves now walking out towards the There's supporters line. of Leicester City that can't watch. They're hiding behind fans and clappers. They want to shield their eyes. This is huge. Madison against Pickford for a 3-1 lead just before half-time. He steps up, right-footed. It's saved by Pickford. It was a dreadful penalty. It was straight down the middle. It was a perfect height for Pickford just to pat it away. And Madison is the latest Leicester player to fail from the spot. That is huge. It's a lifeline for Everton. It's a sucker punch for Leicester right at the end of what has been a thrilling first 45 minutes. Jordan Pickford is celebrating away to our right-hand side. Leicester still have the lead, but they had a chance right at the very end of the first 45 to put themselves in an almost unassailable position. But James Madison, I'm afraid his legs went to jelly just as he went up to address the football. He's kicked it straight down the middle of the goal. It's a dreadful strike. Shocker. And it's easily saved by Pickford. And it's 2-1 at half-time, Andy Townsend. Yeah, massive moment in the game. Look, it's it's been a really interesting watch. It really has. Leicester suffering. It looked edgy, looked a bit nervy in those opening exchanges. Everton grabbed the lead. Then they got back into it. Clever goal from Sawyer and True Pickford, I think, should have done better. Classic Vardy to give them a lead. But that moment we've just seen there, that penalty, that huge penalty miss, how significant is that going to be when everything is all divvied up at the end of this season? Three points for Leicester will lift them to 16th, above Leeds, above Nottingham Forest, and two points clear of the relegation zone. They should have three points in the bag. They haven't. This game's still alive. Leicester 2, Everton 1. One of the best 45 minutes of entertainment that we've had all season. That's saying something, bearing in mind some of the matches that we've had over the course of the campaign here. It's been a bonkers first 45 minutes and Leicester City will hope it's a much more sedate second 45, Andy Townsend. Yeah, they will. Look, but I think they've, I don't think the nature of, of Leicester this season tells me that they can sit and manage and protect what they have. They've got to go and get more. 
they're not going to rest easy until they've got at least another one in their back pockets. Not with uh, Everton coming forward right from the very off. We'll run through the two 11s for you, starting with the home team who have a slender lead. Everson is their goalkeeper. He's got the ball in his hands. Castagna, Bass, Sonchu and Thomas the back four. Tielemans, Samare and Ndidi. And then it's Madison and Barnes supporting Vardy in attack. We haven't seen a lot of Leicester City in attack, really. No. Uh, but they've got two goals on the board, and they're coming forward here, down the right side. A lovely little turn by Madison. He comes in, field, plays an intelligent ball to Castagno, who doesn't take care of the ball very well, as it's fired into him, and it's over the top, and it's away for a goal kick away to our left-hand side. Everton have got Pickford in goal. They've switched Coleman out for Patterson uh, just before half-time. A serious-looking injury to Seamus Coleman. Keen, Tarkovsky and Mikolenko make up the back four. Gay de Kure and Ghana, then Iwobi, Calvert-Lewin and McNeil. Yeah, whenever James Madison picks the ball up, you sense something by him. He's capable of, like he did for the goal, finding Vardy and releasing him and putting him away. They've got to try and feed him as much as they can. Harvey Barnes has been quiet, really. Not seen an awful lot of the ball. Not really been involved in the game. Naturally holds a bit more width uh, for his team. And again, Tielemans and Ndidi, Sumare got to work really hard in the middle of the park. For Dean Smith, I beg your pardon, for Sean Dyche, he's got options, he's got Damari Gray, he's got Neil Mopé, he's got forward-thinking boys. I'm sure it won't be long if nothing much changes before he has a rethink. Barnes, deep inside his own half, comes back to Sumare. Then Soyonchu, Soyonchu in the left fullback position, Thomas managing to clear up towards halfway. Dabbed forward towards uh, just a Garner Gay. Tielemans went in for a challenge. There's a thunderous clearance by uh, Tielemans We're going in for a 50-50 with McNeil. And the ball spills back towards Everson away to our right-hand side. Everton in pink shirts and grey shorts attacking the goal away to our right second half. All blue for Leicester, the home team, attacking the goal away to our left. Patterson a little bit keen and eager to try and nick the ball off. Barnes on this near side and Leicester looking to complete the double over Everton for just the second time in the Premier League era the last time they managed it was definitely a happier time for them when they won the title seven years ago seven years eh? time flies doesn't it, it really does yeah such a different team now this one but can they be at their vibrant best in what left of this game? Good exchange over on the far side of Vardy. He's been sent through once again by Castagna. Went to stretch to try and reach the ball. Didn't quite make it. And it goes out on this near side and away for a throw. But releasing him quickly is the key to success here, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, the ball just exchanging between Castagna and Madison. Far touch line. Castagna immediately whipped the ball around the back of the defence. And Vardy was off and running. Yep. Couldn't quite stretch to meet it. Absolutely right. Brilliant effort that from Castagna. Just wrapping his foot around the ball, trying to find Vardy as early as he can. That's the key. Barnes into Tielemans on the edge of the area. Samare into Ndidi, who looks to shoot to try and open up the Everton defence once again. It's blocked by Keane and comes out to the middle of the park. Then Soyonchu and Ndidi have a clash of heads. The referee will stop the game and Soyonchu will get some treatment in the middle of the Everton half. It was a thunderous challenge by Soyonchu to try and head that ball to Leicester players going for the same ball as a result of that it's a uh, going to be an uncontested drop ball and he's going to need some treatment Soyonchu yep again yeah he's clattered into Ndidi Ndidi is rubbing the back of his head but it's Soyonchu that's taken the full impact of that one on the forehead immediately hits the floor game stops as ever quite rightly a little break in play and indeed he's just rubbing the back of his head and we'll try and get some word on Seamus Coleman throughout the course of the evening as well we'll speak to the two managers just before or during the sports bar which is on air from 10 o'clock tonight taking your calls on this game and anything you've seen today up and down the country maybe you've come back from the uh, Women's Champions League game 03717 is the number to call remember tomorrow morning back on breakfast Ali McCoyst and Laura Woods reviewing all of the night's action and looking ahead to another big week in the Premier League they've got some big guests, Alan Stubbs is going to be on the show tomorrow. What's he going to have to say about his old club, Everton? Kevin Campbell's on the show tomorrow. David O'Leary might be uh, talking a little bit about Leeds and Aston Villa on tomorrow's show. And Stephen Schumacher, who is the League One EFL Manager of the Year, will be, uh, I'm sure, celebrating uh, Plymouth's promotion to the Championship. All on the show tomorrow with Ali and with Laura Wood, 6 a.m., tomorrow morning live on TalkSport if you fancy something a little bit different then Chris Evans is back on the Virgin Radio breakfast show from 6.30 you can get Virgin Radio via the app it's a good interview with Bono 
on the Virgin Radio yes, right. about the new album. Right, yeah, okay, of course, and they've got their new tour in Vegas, haven't they? Yeah. yeah. In that new... I'm sure you'll be getting a VIP well, invite to that, former Ireland captain and all that. It hasn't arrived yet, needless to say. It's coming. <laughs> So Onchu gets up and walks over towards the uh, near touchline, having had his treatment. Did you ever uh, go and see Bono, or did you hook up with Bono in the 1994 World Cup, or just beforehand? Yeah, well, it, I mean, mo lots of the guys came out to watch many of the games over the years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Personal friend. Well, his son's doing well. Uh, another plan, they, by they, the way. Yeah, he's Haler. They're having a uh, very nice plan. Yeah, on tour at good. the moment. Uh, ball kick clear as we get back underway. Uh, over the halfway line it goes from Pickford and drops over and away for a goal kick away to our right hand side and again Leicester quite happy to slow the game down here just to allow Soyuncu I think more than anything just to recover he's got a nasty black eye on the way there I can see a big swelling just on the side of his head after clattering into Ndidi so the game just disrupted for a couple of minutes but now we're going to get back to it that's going to disrupt his rugged good looks as well isn't it Free kick, a goal kick away to our right hand side smashed upfield by Everson out towards the near touchline Keane takes over heads the ball into the air it bounces for Iwobi then to Sagana Gay loses out to Barnes it was a foul by Vardy according to Michael Oliver and uh, I don't think Jamie Vardy's too happy about that Tarkovsky runs it clear goes back to Pickford away to our left 52 minutes on the clock Leicester City 2 Everton 1 live on Talk Sport tonight we're in the Premier League if Leicester find themselves fighting uh, their way out of this situation it will uh, be a great uh, turn of events here's Calvert-Lewin down the right side combining with Iwobi gets a shot away stopped by Everson again down by the near post it's a good save that it is a good save and that again comes from Jordan Pickford knocking one 50 60 yards to Iwobi little one two little give and go with him and Calvert-Lewin from a tight angle the shot not too far out but again well saved with his foot from Everson oh another good combination down the right hand side it won't be into the penalty area there was a foul on Adrissa Garner Gay on this near side and there is going to be a stop on the yellow card here Luke Thomas I don't know where he's going to give the free kick because he played on too long but he may well be pulling it back for a free kick on this near side after initially playing the advantage Michael Oliver he's given the yellow card to Luke Thomas you're right though Sammy I think it's still going to be a throw in Nathan Patterson's got the ball in his hands yeah, it's going to be a throw on this near side, midway between the 18-yard box and the byline. line. It's tossed in by Patterson to Iwobi, back to Patterson who moves forward, pokes it in towards Garner, who plays it round the corner, tries to chase onto his own little flick, but it's smothered by Everson very quickly, who comes out and tries to win the ball for Leicester City. 53 gone, a couple of uh, substitutes warming up for the home and away team in fact Damari Gray of Everton and uh, Papi Mendy are in quite uh, heated conversation down in front of us and they obviously are former teammates here you're listening to Talk Sport well, it's Leicester who lead by two goals to one with Now Sports and don't forget with Now Sports you can stream all the Sky Sports action like Leicester versus Everton live right now for 11 99 no contract search Now Sports it will be and across to McNeil further out towards the wide left hand side and it's taken on by Everton's Mikilenko the Ukrainian international left back McNeil into the center looking for Calvert-Lewin it's above him and towards Iwobi and he drops and he fires it in and it's a goal that gives hope that Everton can fight their way back into this game and maybe give themselves a fighting chance of beating the drop a hopeful ball in it dropped inside the box it will be side foots the ball low and hard towards the far corner and there wasn't enough pressure on him or the ball and Everton are back in the game it's 2-2 10 minutes after half time and I wonder now how many thoughts are drifting back to that James Madison penalty yeah. it could be a massive turning point in this game it's 2-2 yeah plenty Dwight Manil doing everything right there half a yard delivering a ball to give Calvert-Lewin a chance to go and attack it little glancing header it comes out to Alex Iwobi all credit to him because it was a horrible mistake he made for that Vardy goal to send Everton behind on the night but he got onto that kept his head down hit it first time and it flew past Everson in the back of the net Alex Iwobi who gave the ball away for the goal that Jamie Vardy scored to put Leicester in front has equalised for Everton it's a vital equaliser for Sean Dyche's team Madison threatening to escape is fouled by Idrissa Garner Gay a yellow card comes out for him I think that's been coming yeah well that's again that's the type of player he is he's 
always competitive but again there it's good skill from Madison to go past him he just hacks him down happy to take the yellow must be very very careful not a night now for anybody to do something reckless diving in unnecessarily to a challenge and sending your team down to 10 well, Everson will have renewed confidence here they've picked the ball up right side they've given it to a Wobie they've started better in the second half than Leicester have Dukure has it it's level at 2-2 Patterson into the area it's it's blocked by Ndidi but comes back to McNeil then Garner plays it behind Dukure Thomas had to be alert there was an offside flag up it would have saved them anyway and uh, Leicester City look to get it clear but again there's a hush around this stadium now and yeah. nervousness the nerves are jangling once more fingernails are being bitten to the quick again because Leicester have surrendered the advantage after gaining it Everson had the lead then they gave it to Leicester City now it's square again at 2-2 what a match it has it has been a really really good watch it must be agony for all the home fans as well as those travelling Everton fans the neutrals like us can just sit back and really soak it up and enjoy it it's been a really good watch not necessarily for the beauty of the football it's not a night for that but it's a night for getting your hands dirty and getting out there and getting in the thick of it and everybody out there has contributed well Leicester looking to avoid relegation from the Premier League for a fourth time and it has been a surprise with their wealth of attacking options that they are in this position they've scored 14 more goals this season than Chelsea that are top scorers in the bottom half of the table but it shows how much of an issue that defence is they they do just leak so many goals the ball cleared by Iberson up towards this near side Patterson wants to get it moving again Sean Dyche is trying to just rev up his team once more he just noticed that Iwobi needed to tie his shoelaces so calm Patterson's eagerness to get the ball back underway and it's 2-2 on Talk Sport live in the King Power Stadium Calvert-Lewin collides with Soyonchu so much has happened in this game the early goal from Calvert-Lewin after a penalty was given against Castagna the equaliser from Soyonchu which really the goalkeeper should have done better with Vardy scoring after a mistake by Awobi the equaliser from Awobi in between time Seamus Coleman has been stretched off and James Madison has missed the penalty yeah oh we've had a bit of everything here tonight we really have I'm just looking at Dean Smith with Craig Shakespeare and John Terry they're just in a little huddle below us and I think they're just calling someone back we'll see who it is it's like Pats and Dacker is it ball thrown back towards the edge of the penalty area apparently uh, Rob Tanner who's the Leicester reporter for the Athletic he says on Jordan Pickford's water bottle there are instructions for each possible penalty taker and next to Madison's name is the word stay it clearly says centre stay oh. how big's that water bottle by the way <laughs> <laughs> well I've got a picture of it here it's it, it's colour coded yeah it is yeah look at that and uh, it, it, big green area saying centre stay and he did and he saved the Madison penalty here is Barnes down the left hand side takes on Patterson beats him delivers across towards the far post it's over Vardy's head almost came through to Madison does come through to Castagna who sends it back down the touchline it's on to Madison right side delivers across into the box it comes to Barnes who volleys it and then oh. Vardy cleared off the line by the defender Tarkovsky and it's smuggled out towards this near side big chance for Leicester to go back in front just before the hour mark and it remains 2-2 live on Talk Sport the ball is with Soyonchu over towards the far side he's knocked by Calvert-Lewin and uh, the referee is allowed play on and because uh, they have the ball now Leicester City Madison into the area away by Keane Barnes trying to get on the end of it he does it's a tra tackle by Tarkovsky comes back to Thomas takes a deflection goes behind and it's out for another corner to Leicester City great pressure relentless stuff that from Leicester really good they finally got themselves going in this second half up to now they've been a little passive and a little quiet but they've just had a couple of minutes there of relentless pressure and crosses Vardy very nearly turning something over the line with Pickford nowhere to be seen 2-2 the score on the hour mark corner kick Madison to take Craig Shakespeare comes wandering out to the edge of the technical area they're about to make a change here Christensen warming up away to our left hand side it's not going to be him I think it's going to be Mendy 
who's going to come on. Madison to take the corner kick away to our left. A right-footed delivery under the goalkeeper. Fast doesn't get anything on it. Away by Keane. Barnes takes it on. Moves down the left. Back to Madison. Approaching the penalty area. Goes one way, then goes on the outside. Then twists back and tries to go past Patterson. Patterson stands up well. Does enough to get it back to Calvert-Lewin, who smashes it high into the evening sky. Might be Patterson Dacker who's about to come on yep. for Leicester City. They think that they have to win this game, I feel. And when you look at the fixtures that are coming for both these two teams, Fulham away, Liverpool at home live on TalkSport on another Monday night football, Newcastle away, West Ham away. You can understand why Leicester feel that way. They're taking off Ndidi, adding an extra attacking body into the group. Look, absolutely, you've got to do it. Running out of games, running out of time, home matches are crucial. So difficult for these teams that have been struggling all season to continually pick up points on their travels it's at home where you give yourself the best chance of winning matches and surviving so Dean Smith not delaying not waiting he's decided to act and Pats and Dacca's out there and they know their only home game between now and the end of the season is against Liverpool there you go the guarantees there of course no guarantees anywhere in the Premier League and we've seen that up and down the country over the course of the last couple of weeks Arsenal knocked out the Champions League earlier on by the uh, Wolfsburg's Women's team, 5-4 on aggregate, 3-2 on the night, and a sold-out Emirates Stadium. Rotherham secured their place in the championship for next season with a 1-0 win over Middlesbrough earlier today. Blackburn gave themselves hope of a playoff place with a 1-1 draw. A late equaliser against Luton in the championship sets up a brilliant final day of the season. Next Monday, live on Talk Sport on bank holiday you won't want to be anywhere else for that as we whiz around the grounds there's so many teams that can get a playoff place two playoff places available five who can get it wow tension yeah. and there's a relegation race uh, that uh, is underway as well all on TalkSport next bank holiday Monday with Adrian and the rest of the gang that same night we'll be bringing you Nottingham Forest against Southampton in the Premier League just a little old game between Nottingham Forest and Southampton <laughs> not a lot now either is there Dacca using his pace to try and unsettle Mikolenko as the ball goes back to Pickford. He wastes no time, hesitates not for one second before smashing it upfield. Headed forward by Castagna, back into midfield, collected by Mikolenko, sends it over the top. Calvert-Lewin tries to beat Soyonchu, tries to get it under control, the offside flag. I think it was always going to go up, but Calvert-Lewin couldn't get it under his command anyway. No, didn't quite able to grab that, but he was always just a yard offside. What we've seen, that change from Leicester, Pats and Dacca and Harvey Barnes now in the wide areas with genuine pace. Madison's coming off that right side. He's now playing as a number 10 in behind Jamie Vardy. Jamie Vardy with Tielemans and Sumare anchor in the middle of the park. Currently Leicester 2, Everton 2. And for the latest odds, you can head to Ladbrokes, where right now you can get Leicester at 2-1 to one to win the game. The draw is 11-10. to 10. Everton to go on and win the game after getting back into the, the match after uh, half-time. 27-10. to 10. It's all thanks to Ladbrokes. Play at ladbrokes.com. 18+. plus. Be gamble aware. Dot all. This is Talk Sport. And we're live at the King Power Stadium. And we are back to all square. And Calvert-Lewin is chasing into the corner. Down the right. Looking to try and probe the Leicester defence. Fass has followed him out there. Into the right wing position. Back in field it goes to Patterson. Patterson travels forward. Then McNeil gets it. Shoots left footed. It didn't move a little bit that. Didn't get enough power behind it. Everson watched it all the way. And grabbed it. And pulled it into his throat. Lucky. Better play again from Everton there. Started with excellent work from Dominic Calvert-Lewin. A ball up around his chest. Up around his throat. He manages to make some something of it chases after it holds it up and then waits for support and then that Dwight McNeil shot decent effort but not ever really going to worry Everson uh, Everton are putting pressure on everywhere all over the park Madison trying to escape the grip plays it wide to Samara who cuts in field plays it on now Barnes with Dacca moving away to the right it was a poor pass by Barnes and cut out by McNeil who travels to the far side and will clear away from the left fullback position about fast trying to challenge with Calvert-Lewin who gets there first he then can't control as it spins up he wanted to release the Kure quickly Madison on the other side of the ball charging forward goalkeeper under a bit of pressure from Madison but Pickford will come and claim that easily and then he'll bowl out to this near side and Everton will come forward again look at Garner sprinting forward James Garner wanted an early ball play down the right side didn't come Iwobi takes it on two yards in from the right touchline he's got Garner in the centre he decides to push it past Luke Thomas and try to chase but Sonchu comes across and easily deals with that 
finds Barnes and Barnes will see it back to Thomas and Thomas will attempt to help play through the middle and get the ball clear. Tielemans, big long raking ball down the right side. Dakar, he's like a Ferrari, he's so fast. Mikolenko had a five or six yard head start on him. Yeah. It was eaten up within a second. It certainly was and he's fresh as well isn't he Pats and Dakar having just got involved. But again, it's that lovely relentless nature about this game. The game is swinging from one end to the other and neither team are looking to take a breather or take stock. They're just going for it. It's like a basketball match in the fourth quarter with the points level. It's non-stop entertainment at the King Power Stadium. The ball is back with Tielemans, encouraged to shoot. He curls it towards the far side instead. It's into the air and out to the right. Dakar takes it on, tries to turn, gives the ball back to... Madison, Madison down the right side and uh, offside flag up against Castagna, not going to count and it'll be a free kick to Everton over on the far touchline, well they've blinked haven't they, with uh, the arrival of Dakar, they've decided to put on a more attacking thrust, what would Sean Dyche be thinking now, will he be thinking of reacting to that? Yeah, he'll be just having a look and wait and seeing exactly the effect of that uh, Leicester change, it's Madison obviously playing in there in the centre of the midfield so stopping that service into him is is obviously key and is crucial. He would love, Sean Dyche would love to bring on another striker to get up there and support Calvert-Lewin and to try and see if he can get the all-important third goal to get his team in front. Well, Everton don't like Mondays. They've lost four of their last five Premier League away games on a Monday. Not that it really matters what day it is, uh, whether it's Everton on the road, because their away form is absolutely horrendous. They are winless in 14 away matches in all competitions since they've been Saints in October. Ball sent forward and long, looking for Vardy, looking to release him once again. King gets there first. Barnes, he's not having a great evening, no, and the crowd quiet. are getting on his back. Yeah. The ball turned over in the middle of the park. Dakar does well, so did Tielemans. Madison powers away from McNeil, gets it onto his left foot, shoots blocked by Tarkovsky. Spills out to the far side. Collected now, over on that far side. Tielemans delivers into the box, away by Keane. More pressure from Leicester, who are looking for this third goal. 67 on the clock, it's out wide. Castagna, Samare, back out wide again. Now Madison, with a delivery into the near post, it's behind Castagna and away by Tarkovsky. Drops over on the far touchline, Madison keeps it alive. Tielemans keeps the pressure on, as Leicester relentlessly pour forward in those blue shirts, hugging the touchline right side. Madison, Samare, into Madison again try to play a cheeky little ball down the left but they can't get it clear Everton Samare far side back in field it goes to Tielemans they need to change the angle of the attack there's loads of pink shirts back on the edge of the 18 yard box but they're dropping deep here Everton as Vardy plays it through the legs of Patterson couldn't find Luke Thomas it's away by Awobi and Calvert-Lewin needs to hold it up he threw himself to the floor no free kick crack on says the referee and Leicester have got it again might have been a shove in his back, it was too dramatic the fall, it was so, so dramatic. Madison out wide towards the right, gets it back from Castagno, he's on the edge of the area, his shot takes a deflection, goes behind, it's going to be a corner kick over on the far side. Yeah, it was just a little bit theatrical that, wasn't it? It yeah. was like, look at me, I need the free kick here. Yeah. And they were desperate for something to take the pressure off, it hasn't happened. But Leicester just turning the screw there for five minutes. Just, you know, knocking it wide, looking for a cross, crossing it, and he's getting blocked by the Everton defenders. I mean, back out, back across the other side of the field. Now they have a corner on the far side. Points so critical at this stage of the season with Brighton, Man City, Wolves and Formal to come for Everton. Only one more home game for Leicester after today. Madison in towards the near post, flicked away by Calvert-Lewin, comes back out to Barnes, right oh. foot, shot just wide. Well, he hit that. Oh, he's hit it well, hasn't he? Very, very true. But it was just narrowly wide of the right hand upright. And the whole Leicester support thought that that was going to scream past Pickford. Yeah, it didn't quite. No, it didn't. Harvey Barnes has struggled a bit to get in the game, to have any genuine impact. I mentioned that he holds the width, obviously, when Madison was playing off the other side. But he's not really been able to figure like he would have wanted to. But that happens. And what he's got to make sure is that he keeps going. That strike was lovely. Hit it really sweet. Picked it up nice on the half volley, but just couldn't get the accuracy. 2-2, two, two. 
live on Talk Sport on a Monday night game night. Whenever there's live Premier League football on a Monday night, it'll be live on Talk Sport. Don't worry about that. We've got so much football for you upcoming tomorrow night. Arsenal, Chelsea, Manchester City, West Ham on Wednesday night, and Liverpool, Fulham as well. And Thursday it's Brighton against Manchester United. Ball down the right. Daka racing past Mikalenko. Tries to cut infield. Didn't have the pace to. We had the pace to get away from him. He didn't have the poise to keep hold of the ball when he got into that advanced yep. uh, dis, uh, area. Only one goal in 23 appearances. Composure is not something that Pax and Dakar has possessed since coming into the Premier League. It's his 50th Premier League appearance tonight. Samare, over on the far side, being held off by Gay. Gets it back, Dakar down the right side. Moves into an advanced position. A low ball, which might break for Madison, steered away by Garner. Yeah. Every time... Uh since he's been on Pats and Dakar, whenever Leicester have had decent possession they're just clipping out over the back of Mikalenko hoping for for the pace of Pats and Dakar to, to have a real impact it hasn't yet quite happened but it's still something that they'll look to continue to do 2-2 71 on the clock ball is uh, with Samari in the midpoint of the Everton half it's worked out towards the left hand side collected now by Barnes who cuts infield tries to release it gives it to Tielemans who's going to shoot from 25 yards it's blocked by Tarkovsky that one never really got off the ground thrusted header forward by Fass as it breaks the halfway but it goes straight down into the arms of Pickford away to our left hand side 2-2 the score and there's a good 18 minutes to go here on Talk Sport and what's been a thrilling evening at the King Power Stadium Sean Dyche now just issuing instructions screaming bellowing trying to get information on Ian Wone and Steve Stone down there as well Simon Hooper trying to keep order there's three of them in that technical area and I don't think you're allowed that are you only allowed to at any one well, time they're, aren't you? they're barking out their orders they really are I mean Daichi's never slow in that respect is he you know he's shouting himself hoarse again I'm sure already but he's screaming I think at Abdullah De Corre to st sit on Tielemann stop him from finding Madison with 10 and 20 yard passes Again, he's just sent his two fingers high into the air as the ball goes back towards the right fullback position for Leicester. He wants his wingers to get out there and pressurise the fullbacks and stop them from being able to get the ball clear. Sanchi brings it through the middle of the park, clips it forward down the left touchline. Oh, and makes a mistake by Keane, and Vardy's in behind him. He stops the ball. Is he going to pull it back for Daka? No, he's going to go to the far oh. side, looking for Castagna, and it was a brilliant intervention well read by Pickford who came out he saw it he had to stretch out his left hand he was stooping and he just patted it away yeah. from Castagna at the last lovely run again from Vardy out wide Keane tries to intercept misses it Vardy chops back he's looking far post for Castagna the cross actually just doesn't have enough pace on it it allows Pickford to step off the line and intercept good goalkeeping that have one cleared off the line as well in this game Barnes had a great chance that went just wide it will be scored a, a goal which I think Leicester will look back on and think tamely defended to equalise at 2-2 and the table does not look pretty viewing for either of these two teams when it comes to the relegation picture 30 points for Leicester in 16 then come Leeds then come Nottingham Forest all on 30 points goal difference separating them Everton 29 points from 34 games 19th in the league precarious doesn't oh. really do it justice no it doesn't no it doesn't not at all those boys out there now though they won't be thinking about that lots of fans around the ground have their phones and will be assessing the, the rights and wrongs and the possibles and the whatnots but those boys out there have just got to focus on this last period of the game yeah. try and get the energy to just create one decent chance it's it's so must win this game it's it's underplaying it to say you've got to get three points here is uh, Madison drifting the ball over the top but it's too close to Pickford who's always going to come and claim that he does and he immediately dispatches upfield brilliantly towards Iwobi who's very close to connecting with that and if he had been there was two on two there and the Everton would have been uh, quite happy to relish that now they broke the ball and won it back on halfway and it will be taken it infield he's played it square there's loads of space for McNeil who charges to the edge of the box oh. left footed shot takes a deflection and goes behind it's out for a corner well they went very lopsided there Leicester City Didn't and know. there was so much space for McNeil who found himself in the number 10 position and that was a vital interception a block from Castagna to stop it from getting a struck stru strike on target yeah. I just think Dwight McNeil there if he's got if he had half the yard more pace he might take Castagna on he's running at him defender standing on his heels on the edge of the box he takes the shot 
I think there he needs to go beyond him, look to try and go around him. He's not the quickest Dwight Manil, but he strikes a lovely ball. But that might have been the wrong decision. 15 minutes to go. We'll bring you all the interviews on the sports bar. The ball is curled towards the far post. Tarkovsky with a header over the top of the crossbar. He's a threat from set pieces. It's James Tarkovsky. He scored the first goal of the Sean Dyche era with a set piece goal against Arsenal. He just couldn't get above that to keep yeah. it down. He's back peddling, isn't he? That corner's always going to beat him. He's the last man at the back post. Climbs well, but gets his forehead on it, but just can't keep it down. Leicester 2, Everton 2, live on TalkSport on game night. Madison, harassed by Garner. Good challenge. He's that. played well tonight, James Hasn't Garner. He? He's done well. He keep, you know, for a, for a young lad, he keeps the ball ticking over nicely. He's got a nice, cool head. Knows the game, doesn't he? You can tell. Yeah, I mean, it must be uh, sort of difficult for him because he's trying to relegate Nottingham Forest, where he did so well yeah. last season to get them promote, help get them promoted. Um, but uh, what he won't want is both Everton and Nottingham Forest to go down. Again, another distinct possibility at this stage of the season. Anything could happen. Barnes trying to turn away from Patterson who engages. Plays it to his left and Samare then moves into an advanced position down the left towards the edge of the penalty area. A bit further on for Thomas who just about keeps it in. Just about. Back to Samare. Right edge of the box. Now it's on to Madison. First touch was good. Second one takes him into the area. He takes on about five players and then cuts them out with a brilliant ball into Vardy. He didn't react quick enough. Yeah. Just on his heels a bit there, Jamie Vardy. A lot of people, a lot of traffic in and around him. Now the break is on, and it's led by Dwight McNeil, who charges upfield at pace. He moves into the opposition half, and then Solonchi's made a mistake. Calvert-Lewin on the goalkeeper, who comes out, gets something on it, and just about manages to punch it clear. Wow. Just looked like Soyuncu had lost his concentration and looked like Calvert-Lewin was going to pounce. Oh, he wobbled there. And now at the other end, here come Leicester City with Barnes into the box. Left footed, drives it high towards the near post and it's narrowly wide. Tight angle, very difficult to try and pull off a shot on target from there. But we've seen Barnes do that before. He just went on the outside, drove the shot high towards the goalkeeper's right hand. Wasn't too far away. Yep, he had a nice run at Nathan Patterson there. Backs him up into the box. But he's, it's a tight angle. And he's a good eight, ten yards out. He's got players closing him down. We've just seen a rerun of Everson flying out at the feet after Soyuncu has just lapsed in concentration. That could have been a crucial mistake. And the Everson, not for the first time tonight, a really, really important save. How open is this game? Oh, wide open. Wide open. Listen, three or four good passes now and someone's going to have a chance to score. That's all it's going to take, two, because both teams are going for it, they're pressurising. You pick out two or three good passes and get beyond people, someone's got a chance. Well, it may just be winner takes all. Is there going to be a winning goal in this game? 2-2, two, two, 12 minutes to go, live on TalkSport. Everton, who have come from behind after leading in the 16th minute, have levelled it up at 2-2 but Leicester have had chances to go back in front at the other end there's been mistakes that have almost gifted Everton chances to retake the lead the nervous tension is palpable inside the King Power Stadium both sets of supporters know that only really three points will do at this stage of the season results went for them with Nottingham Forest losing at the weekend with Leeds losing at the weekend here is Barnes down the left side driving into the box poor pass selection again Cut out by Kane, uh, Keane, who steps in front of Vardy and manages to clear. Vardy looks as if he's tiring, or given away cheaply, and he's back with Madison. Madison trying to get away from Keane, who's nabbed it, and he's done well. Sloppy again, McNeil picks it up. Again, pushes the ball out to the far side, looks for the green grass to run into. He gallops down the left, he's been trapped by Dakar. Dakar's gone across, and he's nabbed it, much to the glee of the fans inside the King Power Stadium of a Leicester persuasion. Yeah, he did well. It's good work, actually, that. Because Dwight McNeil had made a really good run 30-odd yards into Leicester territory. Pats and Dacker tracking him all the way, pinching the ball off him. And the home team come again once more. Ten minutes to go. Ball clipped down the left touchline. Pickford's come a long way. Had to get it. Does. Into the right fullback position. And then he's overrun it. And the ball's been spilled. And Vardy's going to shoot from distance. Oh! And it's narrowly widened into the side netting with Pickford miles out of his goal. The yeah, offside the goal, flag, yeah. I think, would have been up anyway over on the far side. It wouldn't have counted. But that rush of blood from the head from Jordan Pickford put Everton and their supporters' hearts in their mouths. 
You know what? He's the first person, Pickford, right, to have a go, scream at defenders when they don't do their job. And what does he do? He turns around and grins and laughs when he nearly chucks it all away. He knew he, knew he was upside, though, mate. That's what he'll tell yeah. us. <laughs> I bet he did. <laughs> My word. If that had gone in, how contentious would it have oh. been? The inquest would have gone on for years. Ten minutes to go before the end of the game. 2-2 two, two the score. You just know something's going to happen. You just feel something is going to happen. It's currently Leicester 2, Everton 2 on talks for the car finance 24-7. Search car finance 24-7 today. Foul over on the far side. Not sure what for. Pats and Dacker a chance to have fouled Mikalenko when he was the one that had the ball at his feet and was wriggling out of trouble. He doesn't foul him, doesn't there? And he would have been away. Yeah, Dacker got the ball back, he didn't had. he? got the ball back but he gives Dwight Manila a chance he's 10 yards inside Leicester's half and he's going to clip this one right onto that penalty spot set piece they've conceded 12 goals from set pieces only Bournemouth and Southampton have conceded more less than Leicester City and they've got to deal with one here it's aiming towards Tarkovsky didn't get a clean head on it. it breaks towards the far side the right Patterson takes it on moves towards the corner flag then has to turn back he finds Garner Garner drifts it towards the far post Keane trying to keep it alive he does that not the greatest of headers but he has kept uh, the pressure on here Dekure's brought it down edge of the box Dekure's gone after it again trying to win it on the far side it's one back by McNeil Tielemans dives in wins it then there's pressure for Castagna they're not letting them get out here Everton as Leicester try to play their way out of trouble they eventually do and Samaro brings it to halfway and now Dak has got it on the halfway line but Great he didn't play, spot Alex, it will be coming from the blind side and then the ball breaks in the <laughs> midfield and Keane didn't spot Madison coming from the blind side they've turned it over and here come Leicester City down the left hand side towards the edge of the area it's on to Barnes Barnes now sends it back towards the near side Thomas looking for Madison Madison trying to get it onto his right foot he was tugged back by Iwobi they play it square oh, it's many. given away and Dekure now tries to charge up the field he's told to go and keep going he moves forward at pace he's got space out on the left hand side for Mikulenko Dekure goes on and moves into the centre Sean Dyche can't believe they've slowed the attack here after having men over. It's gone out to Iwobi. Leicester is still slow to get back. Iwobi drives the ball towards the near post, but it's blocked by Thomason goes out for a throw into Everton on this near side. So we've got, we've got two boxers here that are swinging and throwing punches, and we're just waiting for one to connect, and it's lights out. That's where we are with this game right now. It is on a knife edge. It really is. Both teams full marks to them they run themselves out almost everybody looks tired you imagine how much mental energy you waste on a night like tonight worrying about this and thinking about that so last 10 minutes it starts to hurt and all the players out there are really having to dig in it's haymaker after haymaker is. but is there going to be one knockout blow as this battle to stay in the premier league continues to heat up to reach boiling point given away by Barnes taken on by Iwobi he skates forward he's got the Dekure to his left hand side he's travelled a long way with the ball he's beaten Fast he's got to the edge of the area Fast has got back to intervene should he have laid it off he's won could a corner done. could have done actually yeah great run he's worked hard Alex Iwobi he has really motored on and up and down got that all important second goal for his team and has driven infield time and time again with the ball at his feet could maybe have just gone one more to Decore who would have been at a shot from a wider angle tried to take the shot himself got it blocked corner Everton on the far side is there a winner in this game the adrenaline coursing through the veins of everyone inside this stadium can be almost seen here is Keane rising from the corner kick over the bar it goes with his header it's out for a goal kick again they didn't really make the most of that set piece difficult one to get on target I think from Michael Keane but immediately Everson went to smash that down the middle of the park looking for Jamie Vardy the second ball is going to fall to Patson Dacca Dacca moves forward got a bit of grass to run into down the right hand side Vardy's gone a little bit early he's got hold of the ball the flag has stayed down he's touched it now so the referee looks over the flag goes up and the offside flag does too just Patson Dacca there he picks the ball up he's 45 yards out 
and he's looking to try and thread Vardy when it's not quite on, just travel. He had 10, 15 yards of space in front of him. Just travel into it, draw an Everton player towards you, then look for the pass. He's tried to put him in far too early. Vardy's runs a blatant one, easily stepped up and he's offside. Well, only four times in their last 33 have Everton scored two or more goals in the Premier League. So it's difficult to mount a case for them to get the winner. But Jamie Vardy is probing down the left-hand side. Five minutes to go. Talks more. 2-2 two -two the score. And the energy inside this stadium is electric. And it's mixed. It's such a mix of emotions. Hope, expectation, fantasy and fear. So much fear. Here's De Kure, damming the ball down towards Iwobi, doesn't quite reach it, it's a way and out for a throw in on this near side, Tielemans is going to take it, 85 on the clock, talks ball, 2-2 the score, who can make themselves a hero, who can settle this unbelievably open game, De Kure doesn't get hold of the ball from Samare and it's floated out to the far side interception comes from Mikolenko and now McNeil turns it over and runs over the far side he's in the left wing position he's got Dekure running through the centre it's not a great delivery but it's bounced into the path of Garner Garner, brilliant poise gets to the edge of the D plays it wide towards Iwobi Iwobi in the box flashed it through the six yard box it comes back to Dekure shoots oh, oh what a save what a save what a brilliant stop from Everson moving down to his right turning it round the post it was essential that he got down low and steered it round the upright and he did just that otherwise Everton would have stolen victory oh what a stop what a stop Casper Schmeichel Peter Schmeichel a lot of them would have been proud of that one that is a brilliant bit of goalkeeping from Everson not for the first time Abdullah Decore he thinks he scored he's hit it with his left foot around a couple of blue shirts in front of the goalkeeper and he just throws himself to his right and gets a big hand on it. Wow. Essential stop from Everson. Away to our right hand side as the ball comes in from the corner. This time right underneath the goalkeeper. Keane was there. Goalkeeper did well again. Half cleared by Madison. Breaks to the far side, the left. Garner's got it back again. He was brilliant in the build up to that effort. Ball crossed into the box. It's headed down. It comes back to Iwobi, edge of the area. Takes the touch to set himself. Scoops it to the far post. Probably should have shot. The ball was cleared away by Dakar. Breaks on the edge of the area. Dakar wins the free kick. Should have shot came out to Alex Iwobi there took a touch and he wanted to put it back in there but maybe because Keane and Tarkovsky were still up there from the corner better option would have been head down whack through it hit through it and see where it goes Barnes coming off going to be replaced by Pratt for the final few moments of this game and we are only two and a half minutes before the end of normal time Barnes looks a little bit frustrated as he comes off Luke Thomas being replaced by Christensen a more forward thinking Full back Christensen. And Thomas has uh, certainly not done his heart hopes of playing in this team more often any harm. But it's all about winning now. It's all about winning. And Decore's effort, which took a little nick, I think, as well, was superbly saved by oh, Everson. Great save. You know, one of the big problems that they've had is with goalkeepers over the course of the season. Danny Ward obviously had a, a really tough time at the beginning of the season. Yep. Everson wasn't trusted. He'd done quite well on loan. Uh, was he at Preston on loan? I think it was at Preston on loan. He did really well at Preston on loan. Uh, but wasn't trusted by Brendan Rodgers. He's coming tonight and he has made three great saves. Brilliant. You know, real game-changing saves. Those really important ones. And some of those ones are the ones where you mouth wide open, head back, thinking, how on earth he saved that? Oh, Tielemans has given the ball away to Regis Agana Gay. And Madison has chopped Regis Agana Gay from behind. It's going to be a yellow card. They were just about to get up and start moaning big star on kickoff but Madison immediately apologized and the referee went over and called tempers by saying look yeah we know what he's done we're gonna book him leave it out yep Madison just hacks Idris Agay down there but immediately gets up walks over to the player and says sorry pal I couldn't let you run away from me there you know I had to do that and Gay sportingly just takes that and moves on gonna be a free kick in front of the Stand away to our right-hand side for Everton right at the end of the game. The Too south far stand. Out, Sam, this one. Uh, it's well. Let's 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 calculate it. It is what is it? 18, 30 12, yards. It's yeah. It's exactly 30 yards, isn't it? Yep. 
by the cut of the pitch you can work out the dimensions it's 30 yards from goal James Garner to try and strike it from some way out never scored for Everton places the ball down 89 minutes 35 seconds he steps up leaves it for McNeil who tosses it towards the far post Tarkovsky's oh. coming around the back oh dear completely misses it goes out wasn't a great delivery it's a goal kick away to our right big chance gone so I think someone should hit that someone should dump that get bodies in front of the goalkeeper it might come back off him might get be it on target him. yeah, yeah. It just hits it Anything can happen. Sancho stoops, wins a header, but then doesn't manage to keep the ball. It's taken out on the near side. It's a throw in. Four minutes of added time at the end of the 90 here on Talk Sport. But is there any merit in suggesting a point is OK, bearing in mind that Forest and Leeds lost this weekend? Or, or is this the winnable fixture on both of them schedules and an opportunity you had to take? Well, look, ideally, ideally, they would both have loved to, to have won this game. and still might, you never know. For Everton, it's a decent point on the road. For Leicester, it's an opportunity missed. It has to be viewed that way. Iwobi, down the right side. Across comes Soyonchu, manages to clear. It breaks into the left fullback position. Fass manages to get it away. It's cleared upfield. That save from Everson might prove pivotal in the future of Leicester City Football Club. You never know. They've got big fixtures to come. Their next home game against Liverpool is live on Talk Sport. Here comes McNeil down the right hand side. It will be into the area. He finds Garner. A mistake by him. He can't keep hold of it. And Samaro brings it clear. But it's behind Madison. Dakar takes over. They need to get it forward. It will be done brilliantly. They've turned the ball over too many times in recent times. Everton have got hold of it. Patterson's gone past Christensen. He's not to the floor they'll have another set piece it's a yellow card for Christensen but this time they've got to put it into a dangerous really? area yeah this time it's a wide free kick it will go into the box this lovely run from Nathan Patterson brilliant work from him and he's upended by Christensen in wide about 30 odd yards out in a wide area Dwight McNeil's got it so it's going to be a left left footed delivery Garner's also coming over well, all the big guys are up there Calvert Lewin's in and around the edge of the box of course as you would imagine Keane is up there as well Sean Dyche has issued instructions James Garner is going to take it Decore yeah. is up from this one so is Keane he floats it in it's a deep one the goalkeeper's come a long way he's got something on it and then the referee says play on it comes back in from Mikolenko it's a deep one looking for a Wobi it's over his head it's a poor delivery into the box a chance for Platt to get it forward he tries to shoot it upfield it takes a deflection off a Wobi and comes out on this near side we play two minutes of the four that are added at the end of the game it's Leicester City 2 Everton 2 live on Talk Sport tomorrow night we've got Arsenal Chelsea for you Wednesday night Manchester City West now Thursday night it's Brighton against Manchester United if any of them are half as good as this we're in for a cracking week of football on Talk Sport Madison sends it forward into a dangerous area Dakar chasing but it's too close to Pickford he needed just a slightly wider delivery yeah. or, or roll it into Tielemans who was available in the middle of the field right on the halfway line could have gone one there and then go out to Pats and Dakar he tried to do it in one and it got intercepted. The average number of points to stay in the Premier League in the last 10 Premier League seasons is 35. Leicester will have 30. Everton 29 with four games left. Both will need two wins, really. Only once in the last 12 Premier League seasons would anything under 34 points been enough for survival. They need points and they're going to need them quickly. Samare back towards Everson. 48 minutes played. They need to get it forward. No delaying now. High up the field it goes. Aim towards Vardy. Keane's going to get that all day long. Garner away. Bounces on halfway. Dukure takes it down. Soyonchu tries to pinch it. Comes out to Iwobi. You get the feeling that no one's going to be satisfied. The ball is on the right side. It's picked up by Dukure. Soyonchu with a late challenge. It comes into McNeil, who tries to deliver it towards the far post. His teasing delivery is plucked out of the sky by Everson. And encouragement is to get the ball forward. But they delay again. Go short comes towards Madison it's turned over Fast tries to clear it goes out on the far side <laughs> and there's only 15 seconds remaining the heads and the hearts are tired at this stage of the game drained physically and mentally after a fantastic slugfest of a football match any poise left Calvert-Lewin gets hold of it tries to chip the goalkeeper there's the four-time whistle and the Premier League futures of Leicester and Everton are still under serious threat 
The situation isn't terminal, but there's a hell of a lot of work to do in the final four games of this Premier League season. A point only serves to muddy the relegation picture further. It means just one point separates Leeds, Forest, Leicester and Everton. Two will go down from that quartet surely now. And there's no confidence that any of them can say with any degree of certainty that it won't be them. Prepare yourselves. There's a few nerve-jangling moments ahead. There were certainly a few of those today. A four-goal thriller that ebbed and flowed between Everton and Leicester. Finishes at the King Power Stadium. Leicester 2, Everton 2.